This video presents our latest results towards fully autonomous flights with a small helicopter. With the monocular camera at the only exteroceptive sensor, visual and inertial measurements are fused by an extended Kalman filter formulation. We assess the drift of our visual inertial slam following a long trajectory. Then, the robustness is tested against challenging light conditions, external disturbances and fast maneuvers. Finally, we test robustness to scale changes during a high-altitude flight and a vision-controlled landing. The first experiment shows a long vision-based flight. The helicopter is controlled manually to initialize the PTAM-based visual SLAM. After SLAM initialization, the system switches to autonomous vision control for waypoint following. As the helicopter explores the environment, a local map is gradually built. To ensure constant computational complexity, only the last 20 keyframes are maintained. This experiment was limited by battery life to two and a half loops around the area, yielding a final position drift of 0.4% without any global optimization. Large lighting changes can cause texture loss, but thanks to our robust tracker and sensor fusion, our SLAM system can still track the map given these challenging images. In this experiment, we use a cord to simulate external disturbances to the vision-based hovering flight. The modules with strict real-time constraints are implemented on the helicopter's microcontroller to avoid delays, with the position control and the state prediction executed at 1 kHz. As a result, our EKF fusion achieves remarkable performance and immediate reaction to disturbances. Despite receiving position updates from vision only at 30 Hz, our sensor fusion and implementation methodology enables unprecedented agile maneuvers on onboard controlled helicopters. Besides waypoint control, dynamic trajectories can also be followed at high precision even at a track speed of 2 meters per second. In a final experiment, the helicopter is shown to fly up to an altitude of 70 meters, while the tracker operates continuously and successfully despite the huge scale change. This experiment highlights the strength of our monocular approach, which is independent of scene depth. A similar platform with a stereo camera would quickly reduce to monocular sensing at an altitude of more than 15 meters above ground. Descending from an altitude of 70 meters, landing is still performed with vision in the loop, while velocity commands are given by a joystick. Our visual inertial slam framework for small helicopters provides a solid basis for further research on high-level algorithms towards increasing the overall autonomy.